constitutional carry, or you'll hear a lot of people refer to it, and even in some of the legal verbiage, as permitless carry. Some states just call it permitless carry. They don't call it constitutional carry. A lot of your people call it constitutional carry because it's in the Second Amendment of the Constitution, your right to bear arms. And it doesn't say right to bear arms once I get a permit. So that's why a lot of people call this constitutional carry. What's up everybody, Chris with South Carolina Gun School and today no, we're not doing any type of handgun or holster review. Uh, what I wanted to do today is have a quick discussion around constitutional carry, open carry, and then your carry permit just to make sure everybody understands everything. I'm not going to go too in-depth with this. I've already done an older video where I go in-depth with explaining this, but I wanted to do something quick and get it out here for everybody because even though this passed back at uh, in South Carolina at the beginning of March, there's still... Uh, please, people, do your research. Or if you don't know, don't be afraid to ask somebody in the industry, uh, whether it be a gunsmith, a gun dealer, or a firearms instructor to make sure you're getting out uh, the right information as well too. I'm sure some of you keyboard people do get information. So I've been wrong as far as um, sizes of barrels and things like that. This is, there is a big difference between constitutional carry, open carry, and then your carry permits. What's going on, why I want to do this right now, is in here in South Carolina, they pass constitutional carry. I've got videos that'll be linked in toward the end of the video if you want to go in and look at that. But for our constitutional carry, if you're in the state of South Carolina, you can carry concealed or openly and you do not have to have a permit okay so that is what was passed not every state is like that when it comes to constitutional carry and again that's why i want to explain this constitutional carry or you'll hear a lot of people refer to it and even in some of the legal verbiage as permitless carry. Some states just call it permitless carry. They don't call it constitutional carry. A lot of your people call it constitutional carry because it's in the Second Amendment of the Constitution, your right to bear arms. And it doesn't say right to bear arms once I get a permit. So that's why a lot of people call this constitutional carry. That means depending on how the state's law is set up. So check your state. All right, I'm little mainly focused South Carolina here, but what that means is depending on how the laws are set up with constitutional carry, is you can either conceal carry and open carry or one or the other. Again, depending on how your state has it set up. Most states will set it up when they do constitutional carry. They'll be able to do it concealed and they'll tack on open carry because you have some states that are not constitutional carry they are just open carry what that means is is this gun has to be even they make holsters that sling across your chest so if i had a holster that slung across my chest and my handgun was in it this is open carry all right that means the gun is out in the open for everybody to see. <laughs> Excuse me, this pollen's got me messed up. That means that it's out in the open for everybody to see. So like the state above us, North Carolina. North Carolina is just an open carry state. So if you're in North Carolina and you don't have a permit, you can only open carry. To conceal carry in North Carolina, you either have to have a North Carolina carry permit or a permit from a state that is recognized by North Carolina. And you'll hear people refer to that as reciprocity. So that's how that works. 
there is a big difference. A lot of people are calling the constitutional carry open carry. Yes, you can open carry with how our law is set up. You can conceal carry and you don't have to have a permit. But there is a big, big difference between constitutional carry and open carry. So what I mean by merge together is usually, again, constitutional carry is permitless carry. They tend to mean concealed. So check your laws for your state to see how this stuff is worded. Carry permit, a lot of states are, you. the only way you can carry is once you're issued a permit. Now that's up to the state. Before constitutional carry passed in South Carolina, you had to have a permit to either conceal carry or open carry. Now before that, your only option was to get a permit and then you had to conceal carry. Open carry wasn't there until 21, I believe is when they did. They called it open carry with training. And then 24 is when they passed the constitutional carry. But I wanted to do this real quick just to get everybody to understand. Constitutional is gonna depend on how your state has written the laws. That could go one way or the other. Like I said, it could be both concealed carry and open carry or one or the other. Open carry means they're just an open carry state. Your only option is to carry out in the open. And then you have carry permit states where the only way you can carry is being issued a permit from that state or having a, perm a permit from your state that is recognized by that state you're going to. So what I mean by reciprocity is North Carolina recognizes our permits, we recognize North Carolina. But that's not always the case. Sometimes with this, say, who is it? No, we don't recognize theirs. So, but let's say Ohio recognizes our permit. That doesn't mean South Carolina is gonna recognize their permit. So those are things to understand and why you need to check your laws when you're traveling. I've got links all down in my description that will help you with all this stuff. But my video where I go in depth in depth will be up linked in here. I just wanted to make sure everybody understand there is a difference between the three things. Constitutional is different from open, open is different from constitutional and carry permit, vice versa, so on and so forth. But please understand that, please check your laws. If you ever have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. All of my contact information is on my website, it's in my link tree. There's tons of ways for you to get in touch with me, it's on Google. Please reach out if you have questions. Please do your best and do your research and understand your state's gun laws and the state that you're going to. And again, thank you all for watching, supporting, following. Please continue to do that. If you want to continue to support, we've got great options down in the description of this video and all our videos. Please go in and check them out. And always remember, folks, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Trained to live. See you on the range.